Sixth grade math with Mr. Anderson. Hello, sixth graders. Mr. Anderson here. Uh, welcome to my first online math lesson. <clears throat> Today we'll be multiplying integers. Remember when we do this that on this video that you can pause, you can rewind um, in case you miss something. So I would like you to pause the video and get out your math notebook for your first notes. All right, so multiplying integers, two negatives equal a positive. And that, of course, is when we are multiplying. All right, a negative times a negative, I'll put the time sign in between, will equal a positive. So two negatives when multiplying equal a positive. For example, negative 5 times negative 2 would equal positive 10. Uh, so two negatives equal a positive. Now if we have a positive and a negative and we multiply them, it's always going to equal a negative. So that would be a positive times a negative will equal a negative. So if you have one negative in there, one positive, it's always going to be negative. Now if you switch them around, a negative times a positive, it's still going to equal a negative. So, example, if we have negative 7 times 8, that will equal negative 56. 7 times 8 is 56. Put the negative sign in there as well. Okay, let's try a word problem. So, a sea otter can dive to negative 30 meters. A dolphin can dive to a point 10 times as deep. What is a dolphin's position relative to sea level? Well, a sea otter can dive to negative 30 meters. And a dolphin can dive to a point 10 times as deep. So we do a negative times a positive, and that would mean it would equal a negative. And we do 30 times 10, which would equal 300. And don't forget your label, meters. So three, negative 300 meters would be the answer.